Hello everyone and welcome to this short video on how to hide filters with parameters. My name is Mo Folletti and I'm a data schooler at the Information Lab. So let's start by having a look at what the end product should look like. What we have here is our parameter which selects what type of level of detail we want our users to be able to use. So for example, while we have category selected, we only get category. When we select subcategory, subcategory appears. And when we click manufacturer, manufacturer appears. All these are, um, they work with um, filtering the sales of product sheet. It just gives the user um, the ability to decide how much level of detail they want to drill down into and it clears up the sheet for, um, for it to look better and to look cleaner. So first of all, we want to create the sales of products sheet. So this is just a simple um, sum of sales with um, each section in the product hierarchy on rows. Now for each, um, each section that we want uh, our users to have an option over we want to right click and we want to show filter that will bring up the filters either here or here but more importantly when we bring the sheet into the dashboard we will easily get the filters available so first of all um, to start getting this thing to work we need to create a parameter so my parameter is called level of detail select and I will show you what that looks like. So if you have to create a parameter by going here and here, you'll be brought up with a box that looks a little like this. So you can name it whatever you want. I've named it level of detail select just for ease for this demonstration. The data type wants to be a string because we will be inputting strings into there. And the allowable values, we want a list because what we want to do is we want to manually input the selections that we can choose. Now, you must be careful with spelling. You must be case, uh, case sensitive because these are the actual strings which we will be calling on in the parameter. So, OK. So if we make sure that we right click that and click show parameter so like the filters it appears on our sheet so the next option is um, to make the filter that we have disappear so what this is actually doing is there is a sheet above there I've colored it in blue here so you can see it a bit easier so what it does is um, we make a statement and if it's true, then this um, sheet here expands. What happens when it expands is it pushes the filter from originally above the sheet onto the sheet. Same with manufacturer. So at the moment, the statement for the top sheet in the manufacturer section will be set to true. If I click it, which will expand the sheet, which you can just see off the edge there, and it'll push the filter onto the sheet. So to do that, we want to create a top sheet. Now, like I said, I've colored it in blue so you can see it, but um, on your own dashboards, you'll want to make this the same color as your background or white, um, just so that it, it's not, not available to see. So all this is, is um, just a, a blank sheet, as you can see with this. So I've created a calculated field, which just has a blank to do that. Go up here, create calculated field. And all it is, I've called it blank, and it's just an empty string in there. So when I put that onto the sheet, as I'll show you, currently we have this here. Drag that onto rows, we'll have this. Now, if it's white and um, you are the same color as your background, you will want to do a little bit of a formatting with this table here, just to make sure that there are no lines. So if the user does see it, they won't see or what they won't see anything. 
it hides field labels so you're just left with this you can even hide the title so the most important thing with this bit is the filter here so what i've created is a subcategory filter again by creating a calculated field and i'll show you what's inside there so our level of detail select um, is the parameter that we created before now what we want this um, calculated field to do is detect what's in the parameter and see if it matches what we have asked it to which in this case is category so we'll drag this onto our filter section and then we want to edit this filter so what we want this filter to do is basically say when the um, parameter is uh, matches to category we want to decide what the sheet does so if it doesn't um, if that statement is false if false doesn't appear here you can go to custom value list and manually type false here it must be with a capital F same if you want um, same in the true situations you must um, put capitals there and then select that select okay you want to do the same for the next one as well so this is a manufacturer filter which is here I'll show you what's inside that as well so this one when the level of detail select equals manufacturer which is when the parameter is selected to manufacturer so that's what we want we want this to be true so basically when um, manufacturer is selected the top sheet above the filter will expand so in that case we want true make sure it's selected hit ok so if I show you what this is doing here I will drag this down we have a floating box we have the filter inside it and we have the top sheet at, um, above so if I can show you now if I select category it disappears and the filter box moves subcategory it comes back down and manufacturer it won't change this because we have used the calculate field to um, look for category so this is effectively what it is now just you just have to make sure that it's positioned correctly and now obviously with floating containers they are a bit more difficult to um, set a layout importantly you want your y coordinate in your positioning bit of your layout to be a minus number so it goes off the edge of the sheet you might want to do a little bit of editing to get them all in line and how you want them formatted what I'll do is I'll just bring it a little bit further down so you can see the border of this blue uh, sheet so you can see what's going on a bit easily Remember, you must format um, when the, it is selected and when it is not selected so for example if I select category it's gone off the page but it, you can still see it so what we're going to want to do here while it is not selected is make sure that it is off the page completely so now we select subcategory and here it appears maybe a little more format in there so these are the things that you can mess about with just to make sure everything looks good I will show you again with the manufacturer as well just to make so you can be sure that it's the same process so category is selected so manufacturer shouldn't be selected go to subcategory again no change manufacturer selected the sheet becomes true it expands and it pushes the manufacturer out reformat that you can even select this that's on minus 68 get it all the same
There we are. All works. As the floating containers, the, um, the formatting isn't as easy as we'd like. However, if you really want this um, feature in your dashboard, it's a small price to pay. So that is the, um, the way to get sheets to pop in and out of your sheet. Um, these were done with vertical floating containers. However, if you wanted your um, sheet, for example, to, or your filter, sorry, to come off the side of your sheet, then you'd want to use a horizontal container. And again, you'd want your blue sheet at the right hand side. So it pushes the um, filter back on, on the right hand side. Lastly, thank you for listening. I hope this has been at least a little bit of a help for you. Um, if you would prefer the instructions in a written format, there is a blog, which I will uh, leave a link to in the description. And yeah, if um, you want to look for any more videos uh, uh, on the Tableau, Alteryx, um, please check out the Information Lab channel. Um, it can be very helpful for people um, if you're just starting up as well as if you're an advanced user. Thank you for listening.